Okay, uh, FSD beta 10.11. More traffic here than normal, mostly waiting and going. All right, so uh, I've already taken a few short, simple drives. They've gone fairly well. Hard to say if there's any um, huge improvements or not. On those drives, a few things that haven't changed is this phantom stop sign that occurs right here, which I'm gonna accelerate through for most of the whole beta period other than the first few months. In 500 feet, turn left onto side and Strickle Road through ramp. Um, but we'll see how it does on my commute. I'll probably, that's very loud. So the thing about this commute is uh, some of it's on the highway, I'll probably speed that up. But other parts are, um, used to do great, and now they're kind of just so-so, and I've noticed that it's hard to capture. So if the release notes on this are kind of, the things they hint at being better, I think would really improve this drive. So we'll see, I'll try to comment on how it works. Uh, also, I'll show, there's there's one area where I know I'm going to have to take over because there's new roads, and the interesting part is the last map up, update that we got a few weeks ago happened <clears throat> right before, uh, literally a week or two before the <clears throat> maps were changed in Google Maps and Waze, and uh, some of those updates actually show up on the map. Uh, when you zoom in, but when you go through different levels, uh, there's one almost fully zoomed in level where the roads are not updated. They kind of reflect more what the last Google Maps uh, looked like before the changes were in place. So I'm wondering if that's kind of like the base navigation layer or something like that, but we'll see. Um, my guess is I'm not going to see any uh, change to that routing until uh, we get another maps update, but anyway. And there's a car immediately to the right of me in this merge, and sped up nicely. Pass. Sometimes when that situation's occurred, the FSD would slam on the brakes to let that car go ahead of you, which is not uh, the right behavior. Nobody would do that. Uh, you either should pre-plan for it or accelerate. Uh, now, if they're already in front of you a little bit, you could brake, but not... You know, what I was seeing before was you'd be in front of the car and it would slam on the brakes, including on the highway. We were on a trip, and I got in tr I got yelled at. <laughs> uh, a little, me and my wife had a little dis uh, disagreement about what FSD beta did and or didn't do uh, in terms of letting someone merge in front of me. And I was like, well, you know, they were they should have accelerated. Uh, anyway, the whole point is we want. There's certain things people do that are either going to be technically right or wrong for the laws. And then there's the human aspect of driving, which can fit into that, and then personal preference. But either way, FSD Beta has to drive more like a human within those laws and do things people would do so that other cars can expect you to uh, expect the car to do what they would expect. That doesn't make sense, but uh, the car would do what they would expect it to do. Oh. 
Okay, so we started getting into the right lane, and that car there on the right um, swerved into the middle lane from the right lane, and we gracefully pulled back. That was really nice. I don't even know if that person was definitely in my blind spot. I'm not even sure I would have noticed. Um, the car started swerving back before I noticed him. So that was really good, really good. Slow down from the sun, it looks like. Or it could just be the follow distance from the truck. Okay, that was also good. I uh, pulled into this left lane here. Um, in the recent builds, it seemed to s kind of stay left and then either go back to the center, uh, almost not knowing that the, mer the lane was splitting, or just being indecisive. I'm not sure what it was, but it was not good, and that didn't happen just now. Now turn left onto Baglick Road. We're gonna have to get in this right lane. There's not too much time coming up, and it decided not to go there and to hopefully go here up here. But we'll see. Oh, cars are. Not bad. Okay, I've been getting a phantom blinker here in the last few updates still gave, well that was okay because we did turn right technically, but it's staying on, oh, went off, okay, I've had it manually disengage that, uh, announced right again, we are turning, that's, yeah, that's, I'll report that, I mean, we are turning right, now it's getting in the left lane, which is, um, so, everybody, That was a little close. If the car was not paying attention behind me, I was worried that we were a little bit too close for my comfort, but... Now, technically, that lane, everyone, that car to the left of me, uh, was in the wrong lane to be, to turn into the lane they were. Uh, but there's nothing you can do about that. It's really a bad, poorly designed intersection. Now this, and we get into the left lane. Oh, 
All right, well, that's the first time that that's done that in a while without any interventions. It wasn't perfect. I don't know why we got into the left lane and then the, the right lane. Um, like I said, uh, that Jeep turned, it's, I'll maybe put a screenshot, but right before that uh, traffic light, um, let's speed. Okay, right before that traffic light, <coughs> when we got into the left-hand lane, uh, if you notice, the sign said 95 South. We were turning 95 North, so the only lane that you're supposed to be in to turn uh, to go onto that ramp is the right lane. For, for then, then it splits into two lanes. A lot of people go from the uh, treat it as it's two lanes going to two lanes, and the street markings are kind of light, but basically to do that you have to go over a double yellow or sorry a single white line and in order and I was in the position where I was uh, last week in that lane and somebody tried to a, a big truck tried to basically turn into my lane and hit the horn and they, they started hitting their horn and uh, aggressively accelerating decelerating getting next to me and shaking their fist like I had done something wrong and almost hit them, but they were in the wrong, so, again, it's not a good intersection. far zero takeovers uh, really impressed I know the highway portion is, is probably you know not that interesting but I can just say that over the past I haven't had a zero takeover drive on this route in probably over a year um, especially the side roads so I'm really curious to um, take this into more complex intersections perhaps down DC um, which haven't worked great for a while. Um, just too many simple errors that sometimes weren't there a year ago. And I think it's ready. So we'll see. Um, I might try to do that this week. This upcoming exit is going to be where the new construction is or the new roads. Uh, I'll show you that and then that'll be the end of the video. Uh, the car's also sticking left here, uh, and up until now, it's gone to the, now see, 
be centered, but that always happened back there, so I don't know if there's any changes there. Like, probably, probably a lot of people say no, but it seemed like it. But it's kind of qualitative. I know that the, uh, the, qual the quantitative part is... Oh, I wish I could turn that down. Uh, that, that's the only no-takeover drive I've had in this commute in a long time. But that can depend on a lot of factors, uh, such as the traffic and lighting uh, and what the other traffic is doing. But it's definitely different. Now, this... It's recognizing the speed limit on this new road is 50, uh, so there's a 30 mile limit sign up here, so let's see if it reads that. Oh, now it says 45. And just switch to 30. And this is... This road is on the map, but this is what I was talking about. You can see up here these roads are all in place, but if you zoom in, um, oh, now it's, in 1, feet, turn left now they're right all there, so, but it's not routing on those roads, so what I was going to show you is not there anymore, um, it's trying to, let's see if vision, okay, so I had to hit the accelerator there, it didn't take the route, I think it tried to put the blinker on, but, Anyway, this is the road I want to be on, and it's still doing it. Uh, there's FSD mode. Obviously, it's still driving. It's not on the route, so, you know, it's a problem, but um, now turn right. that's not going to be fixed until this is part of the navigation. So I'll report it and uh, see what happens. Thanks a lot. Be making more videos in the future. Please like and subscribe so I can do that, and uh, see you later.